are on our way to World Cup Finals. Import first domestic. Thank you uh, to our sponsors, our friends, everyone that supports us. It means a lot. We're on our way out to Steve Vetter. We're crewing for him and uh, honestly just can't wait to get this week started. Thank you uh, to everyone that supports us, me at LuxFab and uh, all our sponsors and uh, couldn't do it without you guys. to meet Steve, get this show on the road. CVG, we're out of here. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, brother. About to get it. How you doing? What's going on?
Wild Street was just called the Lanes. We are here. Yeah, Sour, please. Stan it's not, not going to be an easy race. We don't please, know if we're going to uh, get the round one. Damn, all-wheel drive yeah, Civics in this please, class. Please, uh, I think we're up against the 760s car. And we got 80s in this bitch, for sure. But uh, we just want to make a clean A to B hit. We didn't make a ton of changes. Um... We want to just go A to B, but it is turned up and we're ready to go. We out here. Round one. Fight. We're in Steve Vetter's pit. Wanted to give a quick update. We're out here. Uh, we're testing at World Cup Finals. You know, you guys know how it is. Uh, preaching to the choir. But anyways, so anyway, we went 830s off the trailer. We did not back it up. We went, a little, we went slower on the next pass due to some issues and some new changes. You know, we went backwards, uh, went back to square one. We were able to go faster than we went yesterday. We got the logger working. We were having some logger issues. Turned out to be a bad USB drive. We brought one that I have uh, sent here from Pro AFI, and you know we got that stuff reconfigured, got the right um, firmwares aligned, and, and everything's working now. So we did get run data for the very first time. Our 830s passed. We had no run data. Totally sucked. That hurt bad. And then the next run, we had some issues. No run data again. So we were totally making changes, uh, totally blind, and you know it's really difficult doing that. So we made a hit today. We got run data. That issue is now resolved. 
That, that issue has uh, since been resolved. We got run data. We know where we're at. We're in the ballpark. And uh, we found out it was a little bit of a joke. We did not mean to test on low boost, but we found out that we tested on low boost today. Uh, so the 882 pass at 165 miles an hour was a very soft hit. Very soft hit. Down 10, 12 pounds of boost from the 830 hit. We still have a couple issues, but you know we know what we got to do. So we're going to get that stuff sorted out. Mainly we had a, uh, a purge solenoid go bad. You know, it's it that happens on race day. It's unfortunate, but thrashing hard. We got a good team behind us. Everybody at Pro EFI, the guys at Pro Speed, can't say enough about them. You know, the hospitality here is just amazing. You know, the race family deal, it's its real, man. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's really cool to, to know you get here and, and uh, you think it's over. And a trailer next to you is willing to just do anything for you. You know, no questions asked. So, you know, doing everything we can for, for anybody else uh, that comes to us uh, as well. So, ton of issues got resolved. But, you know, pretty much been over everything, and uh, that's where we're at. So we're qualified, and uh, things are actually looking really good. I'm really happy with where we're at now. We haven't stopped. We're going to go for it, guys. Thanks for everyone's supports, watches, and Team LuxFab, Team Pro EFI, Team Vetter to the front. GoPro issue number 100 on the trip to World Cup Finals. Not too happy with this. This is a brand new hardware I bought the day before the trip. It froze on our big pass. Perfect. So. Dude, yo. Went 980. What the? F I know. I know. 804, my. Ah, damn it. 804. Damn it, man. So close that seven. <laughs> damn. Dude, and I knew it was, it was me. I short shifted uh, first. As you hung a little bit. The lead looked good, man. 804. 804, baby. Hey, CO2 worked all right. Oh, everything worked. Everything worked. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was, there was a lot of smoke out of the exhaust when I went to the finish line. Just like smoke, but it was also me letting out after being in it. Hell yeah. 804. Talk about backing up that 830 pass off the trailer. God, it's been a lot of work, but that just made it all worth it.
So basically, recap on World Cup Finals. So everything uh, went well for qualifying. We went personal best off the trailer, and then we smashed that personal best with an 804, 804 pass, 175 miles an hour and change. That was a badass pass. Nice driving. But we looked at the data and saw that there was a bunch of room for improvement. Got really excited. We went hard to work getting everything ready for eliminations round one. There's a couple things that weren't exactly ideal that we were working around. So we felt at the time with a team decision, the owner's calling the shots. But, you know, we made decisions together. Just some things he's got to make the call for. So we thought the best thing was at the time to leave the save the motor engine builder was there i heard stuff people saying you know we can't believe this thing's still running it runs great but there was talks of refreshing and uh but yeah at this point we figured things running great we're just gonna we're gonna save that last qualifying attempt for round one we have already at this point i would say you know reached our expectations for what we were dealing with you know of course we wanted to go sevens in round one so anyway round one did a nice burnout Everything worked, car came up, got on the limiters. Steve was able to get the car staged, bump in like a boss, thing looked badass. You know, we didn't, we weren't able to test that. We were low on CO2, limited on CO2. So there's a lot of things that weren't ideal. I would have liked to test a lot more things in the pits than, than we were able to. So the outcome was was really badass for, for really, really being untested, which is rough. So anyway, car launches takes the power and somewhere 40 feet out something like that have to look at the data but it shut the car down um, obviously we weren't happy to see that we didn't know why so we got back to the pits and after reviewing the data we see injector duty cycle has reached a limit 100% 99% above 99% can't add any more fuel probably if I you know raise the injected duty cycle to the absolute mechanical limit. And at that point, it shut it down to save the motor. It did exactly what it's designed to do. That's really all I wanted to make clear, is that the CCU is designed to save your motor. That's exactly what it did. It hurts when that happens, and you're, you know, you're hundreds away from a seven second pass, which is what this car was built to do. That was the goal, that's what the owner wanted to do what I wanted to see him do of course so you know that happened but guess what we drove back on the trailer we had an amazing time an amazing trip set two personal bests very very close for 500 away from being in the sevens with the car big shout out to Pro AFI big shout out to Buzz Media for ha having me this hospitality was amazing 804 175 very happy with that for my limited time with this car it's a very small time with this program I you know, just wanted to try to make an impact, and uh, I think we—I think I did that. So, thanks, guys. Thanks for the support.